George Strait Day in the honor of uh, Governor of Texas. Governor uh, Perry, have you ever been to Amarillo by morning, and have you ever been to a George Strait concert? The answer to that is yes on multiple accounts. So uh, George Strait is not the greatest uh, country singer, maybe the greatest singer in the history of the world. I don't know who would be. He's uh, uh, quite a talent. Glad to have him in Texas, and uh, he represents a great deal of Texas appropriately. All right, we'll hear from the Sinatra fans. Greatest singer ever. I love it. Governor Perry, welcome back to Morning in America. You're making, Good to be with you, Bill. Thank you, sir. You're making a lot of uh, you're making a lot of the right kind of noise. I want to get into the larger question that you and I were talking about on break. But first of all, we had Brooke Rollins on yesterday. She was very good, as you might expect. But tell us what, yes, you, what you said to President Obama about the Medicaid. Well, through uh, the Health and Human Service Secretary Sebelius, we okay. told him that we weren't going to be a part of uh, that uh, socialization of, of health care and the expansion of, of health care uh, into our states with all the strings attached that Washington always wants to put on you. I mean, it's a pretty straight-up uh, issue for us. Is, Excuse is me, Governor. Are you, I, could, do you want a speaker? Could you could you put it on the regular phone? Let me see if I can. I'm, I'm, this was historically awesome. Let's see. How is that? Is that any better? That is better, Claude, isn't it? Yeah, much better. Go ahead, sir. Great. Thank you. Thank um, you. This issue is one that's pretty straightforward for us from the standpoint of uh, the federal government, again, attempting to um, attempting to push the states into one-size-fits-all uh, approach to, uh, to governing. Um, Bill, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, we hear okay, you loud great. and clear. I, I apologize. I'm, we're just, we were at a little trouble. Um, getting hooked up this morning. That's but anyway, th 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 that's the, the pull-up issue for us is that uh, we have a federal government that is hell-bent on um, impressing their will upon the states uh, with very little, if any, input uh, from the states. I mean, uh, we're, we've got some great Republican congressmen from Texas, but you know they weren't listened to when this health care uh, plan went right. forward, and, and they're fighting it, and hopefully they'll overturn it. And uh, you know, from my perspective, the answer is to totally repeal uh, Obamacare, and then have a true and open discussion across the country with the chief executive officers of these 50 uh, different laboratories of innovation, and allow them uh, to have input. But I will suggest to you the simple solution is this: that you block grant those dollars back to the states. And then let the CEOs of the state, working with their boards, sure. the legislature, sure. to come up with the best ways to deliver health care. That's the answer, not one-size-fits-all. I mean, just huge impact on the future of this country economically. I made the statement that expanding Medicaid is not unlike putting a 1,000 people more on the Titanic before it sailed. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I agree with you. When I was, there's an anecdote you can use if you want. When I was Secretary of Education, I actually polled all the people who got all our money. I, there was some people thought it was kind of a fool's errand, but I polled all the people. I said, "What's our best program?" You know what they said? Block grant. <laughs> Bingo. You know. Well, it, look, there's no you way you can eliminate the improve on the block grant too, which is not take the money in the first place. You know. Absolutely, and and we've done that a couple of times uh, know, yeah. with unemployment insurance, with race to the top. Um, both of those programs, the federal government said, you know, they were blackmailing yep. us with our own money. Yep. Uh, and you take this money, but here are the strings attached. You're going to have to take national tests. You're going to have to uh, do uh, national standards. And even our even our public school groups stood up and said, no, thank you. We best know how. Uh, to operate our schools in the state of Texas. We don't want some bureaucrat in Washington, D.C. telling us how to educate our children. But, you see, this is this is the larger question about Texas. It's – it's uh, you you were saying to me about an article you'd read. It, it, it to me, has, it has a different culture than a lot of the rest of the country, not all the rest of the country. But – uh, that that public school people would say would say the same thing. I, I just want to give this headline this morning. Amazing, CNBC rated all the states on business uh, friendliness. Texas came in first again, again, uh, by a long shot. Um, it's a different culture. Um, and you know, someone said to me the other day, and, I, and then I want you to elaborate. You know, if America goes, what country do we have to turn to? And I said, Texas. <laughs> to, 
thinking of Texas as a country. Obviously, it's part of America. And this is, a, this is a debate you've had, you've had before on many fronts, but the, it's different. And in many ways, I think Texas represents the antithesis of what the liberal social welfare state wants to be. Well, and it's one of the reasons that they attack us on such a regular basis. Is, you know, this, this administration did this very finely tuned, honed in on just a few places in our health care system and proclaimed that Texas had the worst health care system uh, in the country. Well, Bill, you've been to Texas a substantial number of times in your life, and you know this state probably as well as anybody outside the borders of the state. Why do people come from all over the world? I mean, royalty from... Uh, all across the world come to Houston, Texas, for instance, to the Texas Medical Center, where Absolutely. there's more doctors, nurses, researchers go to work there every morning than any other place in the world, home to MD Anderson and the Texas Heart Institute. You Everybody I know who's got serious cancer takes a look at uh, MD Anderson if they can. Everybody and we've got know. UT Southwestern. I mean, this host of incredibly uh, right. advanced right. health care uh, systems in, in, this, in this state. Uh, on its face, that's just a an attempt to further tear down as best they can the image of this independent, uh, responsible, thoughtful state. Uh, you know, when you have CNBC, which is not yeah. every day known as the uh, most conservative uh, uh, bastion of, of of thought on the airways, uh, picking Texas as the number one place to do business in a nation. And I might add, one of their downgrades on us is that we didn't have enough government-controlled health care. So think about if that yeah. wasn't in the, in, the, in the formula, how far ahead Texas would be than the other states. And I do think, and, and I know this, you know, there are people who are going to say, oh, you know, you Texans, you all like to brag. Uh, but, but the fact is, I think Texas does represent the vision and the image that our founding fathers had for freedom, for liberty. And that's why people are moving here in record numbers, yeah. because they're being strangled by taxes, by regulation, by litigation across this country in certain states. And they're getting away from that. And they're looking for a haven of freedom. And Texas is the one place, I'm not saying we get it perfect, but we get it better than any other state in the nation when it comes to creating an environment where people know they can come here, risk their capital, have freedom, and that's always been the beacon for mankind. Yes, sir. The I earth agree. was created. I agree. City on the hill. That's right. And I think you're you're drawing it. I. That's what I used to say to the high school students when they said, "What do you like, America?" I said, "The gates test. Which way do people run when you raise the gates? You know, they run yeah. run in or run out." You have what a thousand people a day relocating to Texas? Is that yeah, something like that? It, it's uh, and so you know, that's our... a test. That's a test, isn't it? And but 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 the bad news is, I, no one knows this better than you, is that you stand as a repudiation, a refutation, a rebuke to certain national trends. Rep, such as represented by HHS, the Obama administration. This administration uh, truly dislikes those on the left that are looking for a socialist, Marxist uh, utopia. Uh, they hate Texas. Uh, they, they truly, uh, viscerally yeah. dislike uh, the yep. Yep. responsible, freedom-loving uh, environment that has been created in this state. They really do, uh, it is, because it is a uh, it is a rebuke to them. Uh, it it stands for so many of the things that they are they are trying to get rid of. And well, so look, you, I, you, you're girded, your loins are girded, right? You got more trouble coming from Washington. Oh, indeed, you know uh, trust me. And that's the reason this election is so important to elect Mitt Romney uh, as the next president of the United States. From my p perspective, is because. Uh, four more years of Obama. As a matter of fact, uh, there, there's a movie that's going to be debuted in Houston uh, tomorrow uh, that's uh, called Obama 2016. I mean, I highly recommend your listeners uh, go to a website, take a look at the trailer. Four more years of this administration, and this country may not be recognizable by our founding fathers. Have you uh, heard from uh, Secretary Sebelius yet? Uh, actually, there is a letter en route, uh, and, and I have not laid my eyes on it yet, but it is my, uh, my understanding that there has been a letter sent out, 
and, and it's it, it, again, I haven't seen it. I've been just reported. This is what is in it. That you know, it's one of those. Hey, listen, we really want to work with you, yeah, and we'll be sure. incredibly flexible. And I've I've been down this trail with this administration before. Listen, look at the look at the bill, and I think there are ninety references. In, in creating these exchanges that they wanted us to, to set up, 90 places in there where it talked about the, the, uh, the, the, the future rulemaking. I mean, there, there are just many times in there. Uh, and, and it's hard to believe anyone would sign on the dotted line when the fine print hadn't even been written yet. I, with all due respect, I don't trust this administration. I, I mean, when you see people like Al Armendaris, the head of, of, yeah. of Region 6 EPA, making statements about here's how we're going to deal with the oil and gas companies. We're going to crucify them the way that the Romans crucified people when they went into the villages. We'll crucify a few of them and get their attention. That's the mentality of this administration of forcing states to kowtow to their, uh, uh, their, their, their life view. And Texas is not going to be a part of that. It's a combination, it seems to me, of terrible ideology and just gross ineptness, just incompetence, amateur hour, and, and, a, and a rigid liberal ideology. And um, we are so glad you're there. And, uh, you know, someone said to me when I was drug czar, don't just do something, stand there. And uh, we want you to do something, but also to just, just stand there. We will stand you, in the gap, uh, Mr. I ask you one last question? I will question? assure you that. Can I ask yes, you sir. one last question? Are you prepared to leave the state of Texas to follow your Aggies into the Southeast Conference? Absolutely. I, you know, <laughs> life is all about test. And and, and if you're well, you if got you, one you coming, want, boss. If if you if you want to live a life of of, of protection and never, <laughs> you know, kind of like this administration wants to tell people, said, listen, let us take care of everything. Yeah. Don't 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 yeah. get out of your comfort zone. We'll take care of everything. Yeah. I'm all about go out there and test yourself. My instinct is my Aggies are going to get tested rather sorely over yeah. the course of the next few years, particularly in that sport of football. Out of comfort zone is one thing. LSU and Florida <laughs> is something else. Governor, thank you so much. Keep staying. Uh, you're welcome, Bill. We God bless you. Tell the family howdy. I sure will.